hope you're well. So this video is requested by Meg Griffith. She asked if I would do another video on the test server when I got access again. So I signed up um, to the test server and I've got this invitation to the test now. So hello Twilight Conomers, we're happy to inform you that you can take part right away in the latest test session to try out the new features on Horse. To go there you simply need to go to the following address and enter your usual login and password. And then once again to connect to the game. Test platform is a recent copy of the normal game that is used to test new features. Any action you choose to do in the test platform will not have any effect on your regular game account. So basically I'll have access on this to the 28th of August and it doesn't matter what I do on the test server, it's not going to affect my actual game. So you sh we will soon be going on to the test server. Right now I am on my regular account on UK. So we'll go and check out the test server. So you can see this is the test server here and we've got the wandering horses so we'll have a look at the contest. So the wandering horses, until the 31st of August, collect 16 wandering butterfly horses and win prizes. How to play? To get a wandering horse, collect points by performing the requested action as many times as needed, or by giving them the right colour pollen, except for the horse atlas. When you get 100 points, the horse joins you in game for 5 days with their present or presence. You can get pollen and UFOs, you can get them by buying them with passes, and the jackpot is to win the divine horse Pata at the same time as the wandering horse Atlas. Pata is one of the Egyptian horses, he will offer you one treasure when he wakes up each day, by scratching the treasure chest you will have a chance to win a bonus pack, iron or a skill point to assign to one of his skills. And he can't be sold. And I can also get golden horseshoes, so if you earn golden horseshoes in the event trophy once you've collected one wandering horse, six, eleven and sixteen wandering horses. That is quite a few to get, so let's have a look at Pata. So, do you know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of my knowledge banjar coat, because he's so green looking, actually. That's what he reminds me of, so let's have a go. Welcome, you now have the opportunity to become a great collector of wandering horses. They will come and spend several days with you and give the gifts if you complete actions for them. Let's go and see Dynamine up close. I'm probably going to end up seeing Dynamite, because that looks so like Dynamite. Well, Okay, so unlock wandering horses, 49 points per unlocked wandering horse. So you must unlock this horse to be able to complete the actions they ask of you. Okay, so this one, this horse has to be unlocked so that we can unlock the other ones to start, I think. So let's un unlock that. And we don't seem to get very nice stuff, well, except for the fertility wand. Well done. They'll ask you to unlock other wandering horses to bring you gifts and come to your breeding farm. So get a move on. Okay. Being real sassy with me, horse. He's pretty, though. I like his wings. So... We need blue pollen for him. And if we... There's a progress bar there as well, I see. We don't have any pollen, though. I suppose we can get some more passes. So, got this one. What's this one? We need to unlock it. Okay. Glasswing. Oh, he's pretty. Fantastic. There's still one horse left that can be unlocked today. Let's go and see them. He's nice. I like him. So, what's the other one? It's up here, is it? Okay. Um, unlock this one. Blue Mendelaus, I think. Nice, let's turn to Dynamite to see their progress. Um, okay. We'll do that then, I suppose. He was there, there he is, okay. Only two points to go to get Dynamite. There's two bits of blue pollen. Give these, here's two bits of blue pollen, give them to your horse, okay, so. Oh, okay, yeah, we can buy it with, with passes, right. Um, okay, there's where we do it. So we add those, confirm, and that'll give us 100 out of 100 for our progress then. Okay, so we obtained him. You've unlocked enough Wandering Horses. Wandering Horse Dynamite is therefore decided to visit you for five days. Okay, congratulations, you got Dynamite. You win the following gifts, and he's waiting for you to take care of him in your breeding farm. You will stay for five days to take care of him for the, from till then, I guess. You could now go looking. Um, okay. I like that the wings actually... I didn't actually expect we'd get an animation. That's nice. I like that. I hope they all do that. And that it's slightly different animations. That would be nice. I like when they do things like that, it's just, it's quite nice, and he's a lot of skills actually, like in the past Wandering Horses I've seen, there's not a lot of skills, uh, but he, he is a lot, you could use him for doing competitions, actually as a female, but basically, if you wanted to go win some competitions, it might be a useful one for it, so what can we win? Prizes, Philides Stroke, Magician's Blood, Carrots, Aquas, Fertility Wand, Achilles Heel, Hera Pack, Char, Thiamacy Skill, uh, bonus pack, horseshoe studs, fifth element, flax, polar wraps, Croix fortune, leather, saddle cloth, agent points, tractor, classical saddle, spurs, parchment, horde planty, another ear bonnet, classical bridle, polo's layer, bolt, harmony pack with a timer, um, water of youth, and next pack with a timer, bell boots, and black orchid. 
You know what? I feel like the way they've laid that out, it makes it look like there's more there than there actually is. Like, because usually what they do is they put the stuff at the top and then you get, like, the better stuff at the bottom. And they've not done that. They've kind of spread it out to make it look like there's more than there actually is. But it's not fooling me, horse. I can see exactly what's there. So, it doesn't make me think there's a lot. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these other ones. Um, I'll unlock them and have a look. Because I want to see the coats. So this one gives us a harmony pack. Ooh, Monarch. Remove the wings from Pegasi or winged unicorns. Okay. He's pretty. I like him. Let's have a look at another one. Donate horses to I. Okay, let's see. Blue Icarus. He looks quite fluffy. We need red pollen for him. Um, but we don't think we have any red pollen at all. Okay, so blue manalice. Take part in competitions with 0 0.1 per competition participation. That's going to take a really long time to do. Because you need to get 100 points. That's going to take a lot of competitions, basically. I think what I'll do is I'll go through all of these and we'll look at all the things that you have required to do. So this one is remove the wings from a Pegasus or winged unicorn, and you get five points per wing removed with Monarch. And then with Blue Icarus, we need to donate horses to I, and we get 12 per horse, which is that isn't too bad. You get a couple of cheap horse size sales. Then Blue Man List is tech partner competitions, and you get 0 0.1 per competition. That's going to take a long time to do. And then this one, have a horse to give birth to unicorns, and you get 12 points per unicorn born. That's going to take a long time. That's blue J. Teal J. I, I like that. I really like that, the way that is um, drawn. That'll be nice. So that is going to be a difficult one, I think, if you're doing it on the actual game. So this one is donate items to the shop to your friends. Okay, that's not so bad. Orange tip. He's quite nice. But that one, that one shouldn't be too difficult. I'm pretty sure most people will be able to do that one. Give apples to other players. Horses, one point per apple donated. That means you're going to have to do that a hundred times. <laughs> but at least it's an easy enough objective to do. If you have a hundred apples, it's just going to be really tedious more than anything else. Ooh, Death's Head. I like that. It's pretty. I want that. Like, I just want to keep it. Um, this one is Stroke Horses in the Safe Haven. Six per horse stroke. Okay, well, that that's not too bad. Swallowtail. I like his coat too. It's nice. That's quite a nice one. What's this one? So this one is tech horses for rides, 0 0.2 points per 30 minutes horse ride. That's going to take a little while to do, but I don't think it's too bad. Red Admiral. That's pretty. I like that. I think I've seen a Red Admiral butterfly, but I'm not sure. Okay, so this one is play with foals, 1 point per 30 minutes spent playing with a foal. That one won't take too long, I think, to do. That should be reasonably easy for most people to do. Poplar Admiral. That's pretty. I like that. And then we've got give horse mount. Give horses mashes, 10 points per mash use. Well then you're, all you're going to have to do is give 10 horses 10 mashes and you're going to get 100 points for that one, so that's not too bad. Ooh, Dagger Wing. I like that. I like the name of that. I should name a skiller of that, actually. So what's this one? Um, open Horns of Plenty. 6 points per Horn of Plenty open. That's a nasty one. That's just nasty. But we get a next pack out of it, but still nasty, because that's a lot of Horns of Plenty for a next pack and a Water of Youth. Brimstone. It's a very fancy name. What's this one? Celebrate a horse's birthday when they reach the age of 30 and you get 20 points per horse. Okay. This one's been here before. I've had that one before in past Wandering Horse promos. And I have a way that I prefer to do this particular task, which I'll show you because I think it'll help some of you out. I mean, it may not suit everybody. I mean, if you have enough horses to do this with, all you're going to need is five horses that you can age to 30. So that's not too bad if you have some older horses, but if you don't, I have a way that we could do this that would be slightly more useful, I guess. And it is going to require you to either be a Pegasus account holder or a VIP account holder. Okay, so I've got a horse here that is nearly 30 years old. I'm going to put her in an EC. She already does have Amorpheus Arms, so that's going to be quite useful for this. You don't have to use Amorpheus Arms, I just prefer to for this particular objective. So we'll unlock that. So we've got Spanish Moon. I quite like the name of that. So we'll do the objective for this now um, instead of using passes to do this one. So basically what I do is I use the piece of cloud pack because it's very important to use the pack because you can't use a piece of cloud. Okay? Because pieces of cloud can only be put on a horse between the ages of 5 and 30. Whereas the piece of cloud pack is different in that you can. So right now we could put a piece of cloud on this horse, but that's because the horse isn't 30. Now, when I make this horse 30, if we go to put a piece of cloud on it, 
it's not going to be there. So if we can e-adjourn it, it'll actually work. There we go. Okay, so it's 30 years old now, and you can see the piece of cloud is gone. It's no longer there. I don't have that option to make her younger again. So that is why this is really important to remember. You can't use single pieces of cloud. So what we first need to do is actually need to go and get VAP or, or Pegasus. Probably use Pegasus because it's cheaper. So we want to unlock the piece of cloud pack perk here. Um, I'm going to use Pegasus account because it's cheaper for now. So once we've got that, if we go back to the horse, we should now be able to actually put the piece of cloud pack on the horse. So there it is, you see, and okay, it costs five passes, but you know, it, it's an option to use because once you use this, you're only going to need to actually make this horse younger five times. So the horse actually could be used by some of your friends instead as well. This one, Spanish Moon, you can see it's got 20 out of 100. So that is one of them done. So we actually will only actually I think, need to use four pieces of cloud. So if we age it down again, it's under 30 years old again. So now all we need to do is age it back up again to 30. And once we've aged it back up to 30, it'll give us another 20 points. Then we make it younger again and age it up again. And we'll just keep doing that until we get the 100 out of 100. What I'm going to keep doing now is I'm going to keep aging this horse back up to 30, aging it below 30 again. And we'll keep seeing the progress bar going up here until it gets close to 100. But the, the benefit of doing this actually is because we're using a piece of cloud pack, um, we could actually put this horse in the sales afterwards and sell it on because other people can then use it. People that maybe don't have VIP and don't have Pegasus account. So it's not necessarily useless or possibly you could hold on to it and use it in a future promo and do the same thing. Because um, we usually, every time I've, I remember having the Wandering Horses, we've always had that objective to age a horse up to 30. From the ones that I remember, from the very, very first one we ever had um, on this one I've seen. And I can't remember so many of the ones in the middle because a lot of them I didn't actually bother completing. Um, just because it was too much. And there was like the ones to get the Divine, you know, the one that you'd have to open all the hops with was just too much. Now you can see we're on out of 60 out of 100 now, so we're not too far off with this. But this is why I think this is actually quite a good method of doing this, because it's a useful horse to have for future Wandering Horses promos. And if you don't want to use it for that, you can sell it on. And uh, somebody else will probably get the use out of it. The other thing is to... Yes, it's probably cheaper to age 30 horses... or Sorry, not 30 horses, age 5 separate horses up to 30 with maybe aging points, but because you're not spending passes, because I basically, essentially to do this I had to spend 8 passes, that is something to bear in mind, I spent 5 on the piece of cloud pack and I spent 3 on Pegasus account. Now if you already have Pegasus account or VIP then you can kind of just say, well it only cost me 5 passes. Um, that is the downside to it, but as I said, you might be able to sell it on and get 5 passes, possibly. I'm not saying you definitely will, but it's just something there um, to think of as a potential use for it in that respect. So we're not far off now uh, with this. We've just uh, aged it a few more times. I really wish this, I think this, yeah, this mare has a water of youth on her. I really don't like water of youth, as most of you probably already know. So she's 30 again, and um, I think that might, might we be done? Yay, we are, we got it. So we've got Spanish Moon. You've celebrated several birthdays, so thank you, Wandering Horse Spanish Moon visits you for five days. So we've got that one, then we got a fifth element out of it, and this horseshoe studs, which isn't too bad. Oh, it's really fluffy. Look at the little antennae. They're cute. I like the wings, and they're fluffy too. So that's that one done. Um, there's Atlas, so we've got a bit of progress towards getting Atlas, which isn't too bad, I think. We're doing all right there. Well, so what's this one? Donate pollen to other wandering horses. Okay, so we have to give pollen to other wandering horses. We get 0 0.3 points per bit of pollen donated. Ooh, I like that one. Leopard scribbino... I don't know. I don't know. But it's pretty. <laughs> and I know I like it. <laughs> so, we'll try and give some of these some pollen. So let's have a look and see. So we'll buy 20 passes worth of pollen, maybe? Yeah, okay. And uh, see if we can do this. So this is kind of cheating, I know that. Oh, that's really nice, I like that monarch. Thank you to, thanks to all your feathers, wandering horses are going to be able to have a pillow fight. Well, I don't know if the wandering horse should be having a pillow fight. They'll probably damage their wings. 
So but let's have a closer look at Monarch. Oh, I do like that. He's very pretty wings. He's very nice. So blue, Icarus. Um, I don't know which one that needs pollen for, but let's get some yellow pollen maybe. That's quite expensive. We're only getting 25 pieces for 10 pass. We'll get the 20 pass one, I think. So this one, oh, this one needs red pollen. Okay. So which one? Is there any of these ones that we could? Uh, nope. No. Oh, there's a yellow pollen one. Okay. Give it a little bit and see. Okay, it seems to be that it only gives us... Yeah, it only gives us one. I was hoping maybe it was worth a wee bit more, but it's not. I think we might be able to... No, we might have to buy more. Do we have to buy more? I think we're going to have to buy more. We get this one. Alright, so... Oh, wrong horse again. Okay. Should almost have this. Need five more. Okay. I like that one a lot. It's pretty. It's like slightly navy blue looking actually. On its uh, black points. I do like that. It is. It actually does look like a navy blue. It really does look like navy blue. Okay. What other ones have we got here that we could work with? Well, this one's definitely going to be done with the. Uh, with the pollen, just because I'm not gonna start opening hops on. Uh, I probably should have opened hops, but we'll just we'll just use the pollen. Um, I'm not gonna work out right now. Actually, if the pollen's cheaper than opening the six hop, well, op sorry, opening the hops at six points or each, it probably is cheaper. But I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna use the pollen because I'm on the test server, and I'm just curious to see how quickly we go through the 200 passes that we were given. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. If you obviously, if you're going to be doing this like seriously, really do think about what you're spending your passes on and so forth. So spending ten passes on all of these, yellow is the most expensive at twenty five. It only gives you twenty five for ten passes. That's pretty rubbish. Then you got fifty for ten passes in orange, seventy five for red for ten passes. You get a hundred for purple, and then with blue you get one hundred twenty. The extra four there is because I got some in a UFO, so that's why that's there. So, just to bear that in mind, so let's get this one done. I know some of these I could probably do, but I just kind of want to speed through this and try and get it done, and hopefully we'll have enough passes to finish it. So I just, I'd really like to see all of these different butterflies, because I'll probably not get to see them on the actual game when it does come out, because I'm not going to be able to complete these. Um, I'll be able to complete the simple ones. He is really fluffy. He only reminds me of, he reminds me of the pixies in Harry Potter. That's what he reminds me of. So, thank you for donating several horses to die. But we didn't. <laughs> he does remind me of the Pixies from Harry Potter. That's what he reminds me of. Maybe not as not as deep blue, but very, very similar. Okay, so... We'll get one of the, these other ones unlocked. Oh, this one I'm definitely not doing. 0 0.1 per competition. I don't think so. <laughs> That's a bit too much to do in one video, so we'll have to spend another 10 passes on him to get him done, unfortunately. So, ooh, I really like the blue in his wings. They're very nice, very nice indeed. So you've taken part in several competitions. Well, we didn't, we kind of cheated there. But for 20 passes, we got a hero pack and Achilles Haley, basically. Like 20 fake passes, but still. So this is a teal J, which I'm not gonna get because it's give birth to unicorns and I have a hope. This one's gonna take 20 as well. Um, I'm not very good with unicorn breeding, as most of you know. I just not very much luck. I do like that one. I like the green in the wings. It's just really nice. The colors are really pretty. I like that one. So we've got the monarch so far with the feathers. I was really confused at first when I saw that bit about the pillow fight, but it makes more sense when I was thinking, oh yeah. So you've become a master in the art of breeding unicorns. So we got to hop out of that at 20 engine points. <laughs> Brimstone. Okay, open horns of plenty. As I said, you probably would be cheaper to, possibly cheaper. I'm not, I'm not remembering how much yellow pollen was. Well, I suppose we'll find out in a second. Yeah, it probably would be cheaper actually to open the horns of plenty in this particular instance. But I'm just gonna keep going with the pollen for now. Um, get the last bit here. Now this, I'm gonna have that one unlocked. 
pretty soon. There we go. Oh, it looks like leaves. That's quite interesting. I like that. It's different. So you've opened lots of horns of plenty to thank you the wandering horse brimstone visits you for five days. So let's have a look at him, I think. Oh, I was hoping the four like the different wings would move slightly differently, but they all kinda it it works like two wings rather than I was hoping it maybe would look like four separate wings. I suppose that would be hard to animate. So it would. So we're not too far on with Atlas, we're just about halfway with him, which isn't too bad, I think, actually. Orange tips. So donate items from the shop to your friends. Okay, well, purple is one of the cheaper ones, as far as I remember, whenever we were doing this. We have enough to do that one immediately. I have seen that butterfly. I'm really, really sure I have seen that actual butterfly. I, I recognize those wings. So you've been very generous to your friends. To congratulate you, the Wandering Horse Orange Chip visits for five days. He's nice. I like him. There he is. He actually, I'm just sort of noticing that actually some of these are kind of similar. Like you can see similarities between them. Death's Head. This one I really like. So let's see this one when it's done. Ooh, I do like that. That's really nice. I'd like this horse. Please give me this horse. I'd like to keep it. I do like that one. I just love the little horns that come out. I know they're not horns, but they look like horns. Swallowtail. So stroke horses in safe haven. Okay, well, we'll get this one done as well. Not very many passes left. We might have to start doing some of the tasks rather than just using the pollen. Ooh, I like that. I love the colors. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's, a, it's really mellow colors, but it's really nice. It's a nice one. So it is. I like that one a lot. That's one of my favorites, I think, so far out of all of these. So I've got a horseshoe. Yeah. Some of these I just, I'd like to keep. I know I can't get to keep them, but I would like to keep them. They're just very pretty. Okay, so glass wing, log in the first time of the day. Alright, well this one is not going to be possible to do. What about dagger wing? Give horses mash. Well that's a reasonably easy one. We could probably just do that with actual mashes. And then red admiral, take horses for rides. Uh, we could do some of that and just use the rest of the pollen that we've got. And then we've got poplar admiral, play with fools. That one shouldn't be too hard to do either. I think we can probably spend the passes on the one that needs the days because we're not going to be able to log in enough days to get that one. So, not in the test server because I don't have access to it for long enough. So, dagger wing, give horse smashes. There's a few of these I could go and do. I think I can probably go and do the rides and so forth with a couple of these ones and then I'll come back and we should get uh, those done. Okay, so I went and got all of these ones, so I did the rides and I got Red Admiral, um, and he's joined me for five days. So I really love the wings on it. He's really, really pretty. So I was able to do most of these reasonably easy, like doing the full one and the matches and the rides. They weren't too bad, actually, in comparison to some of the other ones. So which other one did I do? Um, I think most of these... Most of these, I think there's a couple of them you could get, you know, without too much bother. And then there's more of them that'll be a little bit harder. Like that one, everybody's going to get that dynamite one. Um, Dagger wing, that was it. So I took, did uh, mashes, give horses, 10 horses, 10 mashes. And uh, that got me that one. So that was quite an easy one to do. That's one you'll be able to do pretty much instantly. And uh, poplar, as I said, with the foals, it was actually quite easy to do as well. It wasn't... Um, really really hard to do that one at all. Um, I think it was just one fall that I worked along with and that pretty much got me. I was aging it obviously to continue doing uh, games with it but it's it's quite an easy one to do that one. It's not too bad um, compared to some of the other ones. So this is the last one, glass wing that we've got to unlock so we're going to use. I'm hoping I'm going to have enough to finish this one. We'll see shortly anyway. I think we should. Um, yeah, I think we're good. There we go. I like the wings on it. It's pretty. We've got Atlas as well. He's really bright. So that is all of them now, I think, that we've got. Congratulations. You've won the trophy event. Trophy for the event, I think. He's pretty. I like him. Okay, so let's have a look at Atlas. He's really, really bright, but I love the colors. They're really cool. 
they're really nice. So we've got pata from that. I'm probably saying that wrong, more than likely. So we got all of those items, and we spent about 200 of our, you know, fake passes on them. Um, there's not 200 passes worth of stuff there, not at all. Even with a divine, it really isn't worth it, but uh, that's my thoughts on this so far anyway. But I really like actually that there's so many different colors and they're really pretty and it's just, it's nice promo. It's it's a very aesthetically pre pleasing promo. So it is compared to some of the other ones that we've had. Um, but there's a lot more wandering horses than there used to be. I think whenever they first came out we had five or six, like the very, very first wandering horse promo we ever had. And there's a lot going on there. And I would say if you're like looking to do this event like really seriously, you really, really need to be on top of it. You need to be like, okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and make sure that you're paying attention to everything because very quickly, I think you could find it very difficult if you're trying to get all of these. So you can see all of them there now. Because there's a lot of tasks there to do and a lot of things you'll have to keep on top of. You'll have to make sure you're trying to breed unicorns every day um, as well. So let's scratch the chest and see what it contains. I've never got to scratch a treasure chest before because I've never had an Egyptian divine. I don't. I know this is an actual my and this is on my real account, so it's still not real. But oh, we got treasure points. Okay, so we didn't actually win anything. I don't know what the drop rate is for the actual BM item with uh, the Egyptian divines. As I said, I haven't had one, so I have absolutely no idea. But uh, he's very, very green. He really does remind me of the coat that I did. <laughs> out of everything. So I think in general if you're gonna do this and try and complete it make sure you're prepared in advance that you go and get some horses to remove wings off, you have horses that you can donate to I, buy them now before this promo comes out so you can save yourself ho hopefully some resources in the long run and uh, obviously have some unicorns ready to do that unicorn one. Save up some horns of plenty by stroking some Exanthos if you can. Um, so do that. So there's Dynamine, Spanish Moon, Monarch, Le Leopard, I don't even, I'm not going to try saying the second bit, Scribbano, <laughs> probably said it wrong, Blue Icarus, and Blue Menelaus, I think that's how you say that. I'm not entirely sure. Teal J, which is one I really quite like. And if it'll load, Brimstone, the one with the leaves for wings. Orange Tip. And Death's Head. I just love that one. It's one of my favourites out of all of them. Swallowtail. That's one I really like as well. It's mellow colours, but I really do like that one. It's very nice. Poplar Admiral and Daggerwing. I love that name. I really do. And his little antenna. Uh, Red Admiral. Very pretty wings. And Glasswing. The one with the C3 wings. And there's Pata. And finally Atlas. But anyway guys, thank you to Megan Griffiths for requesting the video. I hope you said a lovely day. Bye.